290 blue lights on campus like this one to not only keep students safe, but to keep them feeling safe. The problem is whether they are actually working or not. Nick Murata, a senior and the president of Student Senate, found out the hard way. So a few weeks ago, it was about 10 o'clock, and I walked down the Plains Road to hop in my car and leave campus, and my battery was dead. So I walked over to one of the blue lights to hit the non-emergency dial, and the first one I tried, there was no reaction at all. So I walked about 400 feet away to the next one, and when I pressed that light, it was just heavy, heavy static. And then finally, after pressing it a few times, someone barely came through and was able to send someone down to help. What's more concerning to Murata is that this incident happened after he and fellow members of Student Senate, campus police, and university officials conducted their annual blue light safety walk. So you're gonna go, you're gonna check it, you're gonna make sure, you know, the light's on. Campus police. Yeah, hi, just testing for the blue light walk. Every blue light is equipped with two buttons. The red button is to be used during an emergency and the black button is to be used for more information or to use the safe ride service. Hi, I'm just testing the blue light. Number 38. Number 38. Yeah, hi, we're just testing out the light. We can't hear you. Yeah. All right, so that's not working. Yeah, and the light just went off. Okay, do it again. So at the end of our walk a few weeks ago, Campus Affairs Chair Gage Blanche Flower compiled a list of all of the lights in question and submitted it to the police major here on campus. And so we're waiting to hear back from them on the work order that they submit to repair all of the lights in question. The blue light safety walk was conducted on October 24th. Obviously, I didn't expect it to be worked on that quickly, but the fact that it really is that much of an issue and I saw it firsthand made me realize the importance of it. On November 18th, public safety said they cannot make any public comments on the blue lights until they have received and reviewed the report. I was pretty disappointed in that there are still blue lights on campus that don't function because while I wasn't having an emergency, that could actually be really dangerous for someone who really needs to use that service. It is still unclear when the repairs of these blue lights will begin. It's busy. Leah Crowley reporting, 5 Cents Cigar News.